Did you know I wrote a song about butts? I love your butt. Well, it's available everywhere, and it might be a funny thing to showcase in like a car or a party or something. So I'm just going to give you that little tidbit of information. Also, before I get into the loop, I want to talk about my books. Uh, these are friendship journals, and in the journals, there are questions that you would write down the answers to of your friend, but you can do them with anybody, so either a friend, spouse, someone you're dating, and each book just has unique questions. Um, and it's just kind of a fun way to see how things would change over time because you'll answer the questions again um, a year from now. And you can look back to see how things have changed either between you two or how one of you might have changed like your different beliefs or what they like or whatnot. So a link in, in, is in the description below. There's also a hardcover copy available um, if you would be interested in purchasing. The INFP loop. So their cognitive stack is introverted feeling, extroverted intuition, introverted sensing, and extroverted thinking. And so when the INFP is in their prime, they are going to be utilizing their first and second functions, um, which help balance each other out. The strong sense of inner morals and values help the INFP navigate all the experiences that they have. But when they start having pressure, uh, they start going into their third function, which is introverted sensing. And that is where the loop starts taking place. The loop is not a bad thing initially. It's just a good way to gain some new perspectives. And it's kind of like the stress mode for each type. But if we get stuck in there, we can actually become obsessive. And so I like to just explain what some of the obsessiveness might look like and some ways to help it out. So similar like the INTP, the INFP is going to draw from their past experiences and obsess over what has happened. They're trying to draw from the past to solve the problems that have happened up into this point. The INFP becomes extremely self-critical over any mistakes that they had made and they can lose hope for the future and they become extremely self-critical and feel guilty about the past. And quite frankly, they just feel like they are not able to move forward and improve. I feel like a lot of INFPs have like an inner voice that kind of tells them something that they should do, but then it's not loud enough for them to listen to it and act upon it and so later on they realize oh they were right and it's not hindsight it's like literally they were right and they can be really hard on themselves and there can be a series of those and especially if the events start poking at exactly what the infp is most vulnerable in that loop can become a very dangerous and long lasting place so to help with it, it's not going to solve it um, because we all need to address the actual issue that is pushing us into the loop. But a way to help it is to have some new experiences um, and just find ways to have your introverted feeling be stimulated by going to different restaurants, going out with friends that you really enjoy, trying something new, going on a trip. Also engaging in some projects might also help. But a big thing that will really help is someone else coming in and encouraging them and letting them know that there is a hope in the future. If you're an INFP, I would love to hear your experiences in the comment section below. I know other INFPs would really enjoy just things that you have discovered and learned that has helped you through your loop. And I just want to end with uh, my books. Um, if this is something that might be interesting, uh, just to be able to help build connection between you and just some special people in your life, link is in the description below. And I will see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. You never know what to do at the end of the video. You just kind of start dancing. All you do is dance. Why is the roof?